Hi friends, this is Anjali from Talkies Couples. Welcome and today we are going to make a card using September release stamp set by Crafty Scrapples which is this one you are amazing and also I had one matching with this which says life quotes I think with this code co this code goes very well with the stamp set so we are using these two in the card so let's get started for this I have taken a card base using 11 inches by five and a half inches I have folded it in half and then folded it again in half so this is our card base and here is this stamp set this one which I had stamped and fussy cut and then pasted it here now the reason why I have pasted it here is like I am making a pattern so let me share with you first this flower here is the flower and colored it and fussy cut it and these two birds as well okay so now the thing why i pasted it here is because i'm making a card which is a like a flat fold and we have to cover it like this so that whenever a card opens up this coat is visible so now for this i'm going to use a flap so here is my flap and for this texture you see this I have taken this stencil and then I have used the dazzle paste by crafty scrappers it's a beautiful textured thing uh, works as a modeling paste so here it is I have used this so I have done it before because it takes time to dry so I did this before so that we can easily use it in our tutorial so for this now what we're gonna do is we have to paste it here like in the opposite manner like the card is folded here and it is here so we'll do this just the opposite we'll paste it here and here so I'll tell you how so start, we'll start by pasting it here first so I'm using the glue okay we'll paste it here carefully okay see now we'll turn it like this and we'll see where it's getting fixed so I can see it's it has to be here so for this I'll add the glue here and then I'll paste it like this it's kind of a Z fold card so now as you can see a card pattern is exactly like this this thing you get it this is the pattern so for now I think I have my desert pencil wet little but it's okay no issues it get dries up very quickly so now for this we are going to add our flowers here and we have to add just like this so that our coat get covered and whenever you open it you see the coat so for this we'll add the glue on this portion and this portion only not on this portion only on this portion actually because if we'll add it to here also I don't think it will stretch or it will actually yeah it will so we'll add it here a little bit here and on the roots so here you go okay perfect now you see okay now for this space which is very blank for the time I have taken this uh, little flap these two actually okay now I have used double sided tape you can use a tack punch or you can just easily cut it by hand also because it's a very easy pattern but it, 
looks very elegant when you add it to any card like this okay so now we'll add our little birds one I'll be adding here and one will be adding here yeah perfect we won't add a uh, double sided tape here because we already added so much double sided tape it will be very bulky this is our finished card so next we are gonna make some tag now what I'm gonna do is use shimmer paste here this is my stencil and I'm gonna use one of the shimmer paste from Crafty Scrappers only which is like this one it says so no marks very pretty it has some glitter kind of thing I hope you can see this so I can show you but first of all for this tag one thing I have to do is we, its size is very big so for this uh, first of all I am going to use a tag punch this one shimmer paste from crafty scrappers only so this is my palette knife and let's get started from this stamp set i have stamped these two flowers but i'll be using this one and the leaf for as well see you can use it as an embellishment in your cards or scrapbooks or anything just add a sentiment or something and you are good to go or also you can use that to as tags and your gift traps or something it looks very pretty and it's very easy to make as well here you go you can always add a sentiment here like uh, we have this sentiment you are amazing you can stamp it here as well as here but uh, I don't think really we need it here because the card itself is complete card. So this is it from my end. I hope you like and enjoyed the video tutorial. So do like and share our video and like our channel as well. Thanks for watching.